welcome to part two of trying to keep your flavor in the starter kit. So now we are going to try. I don't really know yet. I don't know if I should be, uh, try sour blue chocolate or pink lemonade. I think I should try pink lemonade because I'm kind of curious. Actually, let's try sour blue chocolate. I'm curious. So now we need to open up open up the bottle and make it okay i'm pretty curious how this tastes i can still smell some fruit punch in there but i it's probably just something or oh, it looks nice oh it's blue i see now we need to put 16 ounces of water. We needed another glass because it, it wasn't even enough. So we're putting it in. I know we before we used the bottle, but now we want to switch it up. And now we done it. So it's lit. It's literally one and a quarter of a cup. So now we're gonna pop this back in, and we're gonna shake for a minute like we did before everything is secure just remember like to the, the bottle is secure so nothing comes out so you don't waste a nice packet of a sour blue chug rug now we're going to taste it so a sour blue chug rug. Will it be better than fruit punch? Let's see. First of all, the smell. The smell actually smells like candy. Sour, like blue raspberry candy. It actually does. Okay, let's taste it. That tastes so much like candy. This might be like my favorite so far. It tastes like blue raspberry candies, like, hmm. It says it's sour, but it's not that sour. That's the good thing about it, that it's not like as sour as you think. At the end it gets like a little sour, but it's a good texture. So, it's a candy flavor, like, it says it's blue raspberry with the blue raspberries. And it tastes like blue raspberry candies. A lot of people say it tastes like um, sour patches, um, bl uh, blue sour patches or whatever. So, very nice. My overall thoughts of the flavor, I give it, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's really nice. It has like the best sourness and candiness flavor. It just tastes like candy, but a liquid. Like, how would you not like that? Just a candy, just like you're walking around, get a G Fuel. A sour blue chug rug. So now my mom is going to try it. Let's see how she thinks of it. In her face, it looks like she likes it at first, but at before, uh, but the aftertaste, it's weird and soury. I think for all the flavors, um, there's an aftertaste. So I don't think it's because of the flavor. But it's still a very good flavor. Probably my favorite so far because the fruit punch aftertaste wasn't really that good. But this has like, like the aftertaste is really like not that good, but I could handle it. But the fruit punch, I couldn't really handle it that much. So 
I give this a nine of nine out of ten for everything. The design, the drink, and everything. It's even um, it's even inspired by a famous YouTuber, a YouTuber celebrity called Face Vlog with over fifty million subscribers. So and he likes um blue raspberry. So I don't know. I think like the aftertaste gets worse as like more you drink, the more you drink it. But it's actually really good. Okay, so my final review is nine out of ten. So goodbye, and I will come back tomorrow. And this is day three of G Fuel flavors. Today we are uh, trying cotton candy. If, if this is correct. Right there, cotton candy, very colorful, and, sh and I think it will be very sweet. So, first of all, I'm gonna change, and I'm saying, I'm going to put the water first, because whenever I put the packet first, it takes on a weird for the uh, aftertaste. Okay. Now we're pouring the water first because before we were uh, putting the packet first and there was always aftertaste. So let's see how it's gonna be like with the water first. We do look at this. Now we're gonna pour 16 ounces. Okay, now we're gonna pour our powder in. It smells cotton candy. A good, okay, it's a, there's a good sign. It smells cotton candy. Let's see, it's probably a pink powder since the packaging is pink and cotton candy. Oh no, it's like a light pink kind of. I'm gonna pull this down. Well, now we're gonna shake for two minutes. I have a timer right here and let's go. Some dips without it. Okay, now we're gonna try the coin candy. Let's try it. Okay, now we're going to taste it. Let's try it. Oh, wait, I think this one doesn't have a weird aftertaste. Maybe it was because of the flavor or we didn't shake it properly. Or, we, or maybe it's because we put the pack first. Mm. At first, that way. This one has a low flavor. It's not like strong flavor. It's like you barely can taste it. I really don't like like when you can't really taste the flavor that much. But this one doesn't have a weird aftertaste. That is what I care about. Mm. At first, it's kind of like weird like. And first you taste like a lot of the, like you taste a little bit of the cotton candy. Mm. 
Okay, if I had to rate this for, if I had to rate this for the color, the design, the color, um, how it tastes, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Actually, no, I'm going to give it a 6 because it didn't have a weird aftertaste, but I don't really like, like it because you can't really taste the flavor. That is the thing. So, I think I'll let my mom try it. So, let's see how she thinks of it. Hmm. She's thinking like it's sweet, I think. And is there any weird aftertaste? Mm. No, she's saying no, see? So that's the good thing. It's probably how we, we shaped it or uh, mixed it. So I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. Okay, bye.